The labor fight looming at the state capitol. Lawmakers are set to consider whether workers on strike should have access to unemployment benefits. But the clock is ticking. KCRA 3 Capitol correspondent Ashley Zavala explains the last minute request. As Hollywood and hotel worker strikes continue in Southern California, a fight over whether workers on strike should get unemployment is underway in Sacramento. People who take care of us are worried about their future. State Senator Anthony Portentino put the proposal together, which allows workers to get the benefit if their strike lasts longer than two weeks. Giving them a monicum of, of benefit while they're on strike so they can put food on their table, so they can send their kids off to school and not worry about paying the rent. I think it's the decent thing to do, and I think it's the smart thing to do for the health and welfare of the economy. Business groups are adamantly opposed. To us, though those strikes are ongoing, we have to have the real policy discussion separate from the moment. It's too late in the year for lawmakers to file a brand new bill. So for this, they took a bill they no longer see as a priority and completely changed it to include this proposal. This is called gutting and amending legislation, and doing it this late in the year comes with criticism. I'm not a big fan of the gut and amend process. State Senator Roger Nielo notes the state's unemployment insurance fund already has major debt. He says the proposal will make the problem worse. Which means that employers that have nothing to do with the strike are going to have to pay more because of the strike. And that seems a little fundamentally unfair. Experts say labor groups are powerful enough to force lawmakers to flex the rules to vote on this. This year, we're definitely seeing a major pitched battle between organized labor in the state and the employer community. Governor Gavin Newsom has not commented specifically on this proposal. Reporting at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. Two other states already have this proposed law in place, New York and New Jersey.